peeps, here I am at Suffolk Water Park again, same lake but the, completely the other side. It's uh, Peg 6, it's called the Reeds. I uh, just looked here, it's now, well it's 8 o'clock. I've got this rod here, which is the uh, 3.6 meter, 11 foot 10, XC Horizon class matrix and I'm now going to feed the swims with a bait up feeder. This one is at 30 meters. I'm going just over the bay there. This is the Aquas. This is the Beast. 3.9. That's uh, 12 foot 6 with a couple with a 5,000 matrix reel. And I'm putting that one out in a good distance out there. That's about, I reckon, 55 metres out there. So I'm now going to bait the swims up. And I'll hopefully come back with an update in a few few minutes. I'll bait up and I'll catch you in a bit. What I'm putting in here is some mixture of ground baits and a bit of hemp seed. This one is out at 40 metres. Jubbly, hit the clip nice and hard. That one's almost straight out. This one is only a slight angle over there. There's a bit of a jut out over there. I'll aim that one at 30 metres that way. These are guru bait up feeders, they do empty nicely. One quick tug and they're empty, lovely. I'll just put a few out, I won't put too much just yet. I get reactions from any fish early. I'm always you know, you're still putting feed out with a when you've got the swim feeder on, you see, so it's not. Because sometimes I've heard lots of rumours. You need to put lots of ground bait for bream. Sometimes you do. Because if they're shoaled up, apparently they do hoover up a lot of food. So if you haven't got much out there, they'll just scoop it all up and then disappear again. So put a little bit out. I suppose you can't go wrong, but you don't want to kill the swim. Still, oh, just got one more to put on this one. Then I'll feed that swim and I'll catch you in a bit. little touch there. Got something in here, it's quite small I think. Yes it is small. <laughs> Ooh, come here. Little roach. I'll put that one in the kit then. Still, it's a start, three minutes it was. Good. Roach are getting better. Lovely old jubbly, they love a worm. Perfect. Ah. Well, I'm still getting bites and I'm getting roached out. I've just had another one tug on here. I'm just catching roach after it. I think that's 10 roach I've got now. All small ones, that's the trouble. They're all taking dendrobene as I was expecting bream out here today. Again, like I did last week. There you go, it's another little roach. At least if I got skimmer, it'd be something, so it'd show that there's some bream out there. But they're all that size. Off. Right, what I'm using today is a it's a Preston's deep water feeder swim feeder. That's uh, you load it from the side, and I'm using a whole da whole dendrobena on a size 12 matrix hook. Can't remember the numbers. <laughs> I put that one out. It's out there. 
one and a half minutes. It feels like a brain. That one. It's more like it. That last roach I just got. That's how long it took. One minute and seven seconds. So they're still out there. Just want some bream. And another one. Was it 56 seconds? <laughs> They're not big ones, but keep going. Another nice roach. And that's how quick that was. 53 seconds. So they're getting quicker. Well, I had a pretty good day. Had loads of roach. No bream. Never mind. I suppose I've got 10 or 12 in there. If I put twice that back, um, there is smaller roach. Still, never mind. Don't forget to put a thumbs up to my video and subscribe. It's free. And hit the little bell and it will tell you every time I've got a new video out. Catch you again soon.